Holy shit, y'all. We're back. It's time. We're back. This will be the day we waited for. Sadly, we're both going into this spoiled. Yeah! From two different social media platforms. Twitter. People just can't Tumblr. contain their excitement. Which, contain your excitement! Like, or find a better way to phrase it! One person, after I told you that I had gotten spoiled, I kept scrolling. One person straight up did a screen cap. Oh yeah, no, that's what happened on Tumblr. Come on, guys. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do that. Don't it's, do that. We get it. You're excited. We're excited. I wasn't even out of bed. <laughs> I've got to just delete Twitter from my phone for multiple Jeez, reasons. I mean, to everyone's credit, nobody, like, direct messaged us spoilers or anything, so points. But just don't say things. <laughs> My campaign slogan for 2020. Just don't say things. <laughs> Cullen 2020. <laughs> I feel like How Cullen 2020 is the law of unintended consequences. Don't, it's not don't say things. Be considerate. Yeah. There are a lot of people who don't have first memberships and so they have to wait. Don't And the solution sure. isn't get a first membership because that's not always viable for people. We haven't had the chance to watch it and <laughs> we have a first membership, so come yeah. on! And, and like I said, the solution is not always get a first membership because you don't know what someone's life or finances look like, so just saying, oh, spend money is not always a solution. The solution <sighs> is to be careful about what you say and make sure that it is under a cut on like Tumblr, for example, or just for Twitter, like, just hold off. You can just say like, oh, I enjoyed this episode. Oh, this, the series start was great. Oh, wow, I really like this episode. Like, you can be vague and still excited. I'm gonna have to start muting people, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and as always, it doesn't matter when this episode goes up. It will be up early for patrons, it always is. But it does not matter when this episode goes up, do not post comments pertaining to future episodes. Doesn't matter if we've seen it or not, doesn't matter what the comment is, doesn't matter if it's just, I really liked next episode, or, oh, you said this? Wait till episode 15, or what the fuck ever. Just, it's all spoilers. Don't do it. Do not mention any episode that comes after this one. I don't care when this video goes up. It might not go up till January because God knows what my release schedule is. But do not post anything pertaining to episodes later than the one that is shown in the video you are commenting on. Don't do it. It's disrespectful to us. It's disrespectful to everyone else reading the comments because people do read the comments on this channel because most of y'all are pretty damn great and I yes, love you. I just need you to respect this rule so I don't have to delete the comment and ban you from the channel. I can't. I don't want to get spoiled. I can't believe this is the thing we still have to keep talking about. We're seven seasons in. Why do we have to keep saying, don't spoil people? <laughs> people are very enthusiastic I and know. occasionally. Well, we, I'm sure we have new people on the channel I at this know. point, which, hello, we love you. Uh, this is Ruby season, so this is how we get on Ruby season. <laughs> this is <laughs> Very angry about spoiling! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but it's people get enthusiastic, or people think that they're being clever and no one can figure out what they're saying and that it's really good coded language, or... Some people just don't care. Yeah, the people that don't care are the ones getting their asses banned. Yep. But that's also why I'm trying to lay this out in as clear terms as possible, so that way, when someone inevitably says something later on down the line, I can point to this and say, I told you not to do this, you did it anyway, here are the consequences. So, we're laying this out right so now. Hi, so, hi everyone! You guys know. Happy Ruby Day! <laughs> hi! <laughs> Shall we get to it? Look, you gotta lay the ground rules before I any know. engagement. I just, I'm really sad that like, instead of being like, hi everybody, we're so excited, we come in going, Hey everybody, FYI, we've already been spoiled. So, cool, cool, cool. Yep. Such is life. Yeah. Anyway, hi so, everybody. <laughs> be kind to us, to each other, to the fam at large, to people on social media, especially to people who don't have time to watch right away, or who are unable to have first memberships, or Verve Premium, or however you get your legal day one Ruby fix. 
stressing legal here, guys. We're watching this on Verve Premium. And we have a yeah. first membership, so. Right. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we do both, but we're watching it on Verve because, damn, this platform is good. It's very good. <laughs> very good. Um, All right, yeah. Verve does not sponsor us, but you know who does? Fred's BS. Ah, cookies! Oh, cookies! <laughs> God, they're so good. Yeah, breads and spreads by Fred. Cookies, brownies, jam. If you are an LA local, also pie. It's pie season, you guys. Mm. It is pie season. And just the pie is amazing. The cookies are so good. They're brown sugar buddies. They're kind of like a molasses cookie and kind of like a snickerdoodle and they're chewy and they're wonderful. And they are very, very good dunked in your winter drink of choice, whether or it's hot or cold. Coffee. Coffee can be a winter drink of choice. Coffee's a year-round drink. True. The year-round includes winter. I need it to live. I'm really sad that the cat's not here right now because perfect jokes, but cat left, so whatever. Um, winter has come and gone. <laughs> winter has <laughs> left. Winter is no longer coming. She left. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, though, the cookies, dunk them in your drinks, put them in your face. They're wonderful. Uh, we also like getting cookies and brownies and jam, oh my, and making a sandwich and putting that in our face. It's very rich, but very good. Highly recommend it. Everything is fresh, never frozen. Everything is made in small batches. You can't find these flavors in stores. Seriously, brown sugar buddies are Fred only, and they are so good. Chef kiss. Yes, chef kiss. And if you are a LA local, you can do pickup instead of delivery and get your goods even sooner. So, to order these wonderful good things to have for your holiday times, uh, the information is in the, in the description below. It is also at the end card of the video. At this point, you contact Fred directly. Remember to use coupon code Kia Cookies so he knows it came from us. But yeah, you contact Fred, you tell him, I would like to purchase some of your wares. <laughs> And uh, he'll send you baked goods because they're wonderful. <laughs> so, do the thing, get the stuff, treat yourself, you deserve it. Cookies for you, brownies for me, jam for your jam buns. And then more cookies. Because mm -hmm. seriously, they're so good. Really <sighs> good for holiday platters and holiday gifts. And Tis the that. season! Yay! When you have to do shopping for like your teachers or for some of you, your kids' teachers, depending on your age range. Co workers. Co workers. Distant relatives that you pulled in the family secret Santa, stuff uh, like you that. You have to get together for family gatherings, stuff like that. I make plates of cookies for the neighbors, and uh, we she makes cookies, I make fudge, and then we get cookies from Fred, and we make plates and give them to the neighbors, and I assume the neighbors love us. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been evicted yet, so... <laughs> yes. <laughs> All, right. All right. Obtain Fred's BS. It's good. Shall we? Yes, I think we shall. Ruby, Volume 7, Chapter 1, The Greatest Kingdom. The I immediately have concerns. The greater good. The greater good. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Wait, I've missed Ironwood so much. I have so much concern about this. Alrighty. Quick. Also, hey, new opening theme. Probably not till the end of the episode. Nonetheless. Yeah. Nonetheless. Ooh. Now we know why the moon is broken. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, God is a great way to sum up this series. <laughs> Yeah. All I don't about it. like it. 
<laughs> no, I like this, but it worries me that we have a very Midgar situation. Exactly what I was thinking. Also, Crow sounds really good. Yeah. Well done. You crow. Well done. <laughs> oh, oh no. This isn't right. None of this is right. Can she not get a hold of her? I guess not. No. Do you copy? Over. We're kind of running out of time here, kids. We need to ditch the ship. Agreed. Get lost in Mantle and buy ourselves some time. I'm telling you, my sister can take us to Ironwood. Uh, Can you get a hold of your sister? Uh -oh. A reminder. Mm -hmm. Failure to cooperate with Atlas military personnel is a punishable offense. If your sector is under lockdown, please... No offense, Weiss. I'm not sure that's a good idea anymore. There's obviously something very wrong. If we can just talk to her, then we... Look, I'm not even sure we should be talking to Ironwood until we know exactly what's going on with Mantle. But everyone, calm down. <sighs> I know someone who can help with both. Manta find one. You are to make your... Jeez, lady, take a hit. <laughs> <laughs> I love Maria. I'd forgotten how much I love Maria. I, I love her. Maria. A lot. Stealth mode. Also, she needs to get her eyes repaired. Yeah. That's part of the issue here. Nothing suspicious about our merry band. <laughs> yeah, we're not brightly colored humans in the middle of... What was that? Hail is here? Election imminent. Embargo. Come on now, hurry. It shouldn't be much of a walk. Show your teeth. Is this many soldiers normal? No. At least... I don't think so. Yeah, you kind of live in like... Yeah. You live in the Beverly Hills of this. We're kind of in the not good parts oh. of Hollywood. For this. Oh shoot. Oh, whoa! Ooh. Okay. Maybe we should pick up the pace. You have to remember, the kingdom had just lost the Great War. The people of Mantle needed a sign of a brighter future, and that sign was Atlas. After all, a home in the clouds is about as bright as it gets. If your sector is under lockdown. Oh, oh no! no! Everyone having a look up at it. This whole city, it just seems awful. Yeah? You don't like it here? There's plenty of space out in the tundra. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Alice is the greatest kingdom in the world, all right? Hey! We can't cause a scene. Uh -huh. The embargo... The embargo's got us in a rough patch. But it'll blow over, you'll see. We try and help the other kingdoms, and this is what happens? I say a lot of like um, He sounds like an I America apologize. First guy, right? I didn't mean to insult you. Stupid finest like you. What did I just? That was worth it. Got <laughs> a girl. Hey, wait! That, that was wild. We are here for your safety. Thank you for your cooperation. It's so nice to see Elizabeth back in this show. Even though it's concerning. <laughs> Protect Mantle. Yep. Ah, it's good to see you again, old friend. And there's an election coming up. I wonder if Ironwood stands to lose power. Maybe. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Have we met? <laughs> a fantastic start. Cybernetic optical implants. You adjust them every ten years or so. Oh. He's the guy, isn't he? 
That's our Geppetto, huh? I know. Maybe, I yeah. Like a fine wine. Would have been here sooner if I hadn't run into these jokers. At the time, I thought they might need my guidance while fighting a little sphinx. People have been theorizing that the no, person who no. works on Maria's eyes is the same person who built Penny. Issues. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. And this is... So impatient. I didn't think I'd need to introduce one of Atlas's finest minds. Working in a place like this? <laughs> oh my god! He likes to keep a low profile. Jump scare. Something I've come to realize none of you know anything about. You can call me Pietro. Finest yep. art, too. This pharmacy uh -huh. is just where he volunteers when he's not building the future of Atlas alongside Ironwood up in the clouds. Oh, it's stuffy up there. Down here I get to help the locals and have a little fun. I'm, uh, I love that name. I mean... You want to try them on? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we get to that, we were wondering I'm just if you looking could at his us? outfit, honestly. It looks very Pinocchio. Ironwood, but, um, what exactly has been happening here? <coughs> uh, the fall of Beacon took a toll on all of us. James was no different. I couldn't tell you exactly what it was he saw there, but it changed him. He's... Uh, He's scared. Paranoid would be the more appropriate term. You have to understand, it wasn't just the Queen. Someone completely dismantled Atlas Security Code, made it their plaything. Oh, that's right. Made us look like traitors to some and buffoons to everyone else. Whoever Monstro. managed to do that is either a genius or one of our own. I fear the answer may be both, and so mm. does the general. Um, mustache. Maybe okay. Atlas isn't as safe as we that thought. asshole. Oh, uh, Chris Savage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Watts. Thank you. Or yeah. Winter Sheen. Do you know anything about her? Well, the council's so scared they'll agree to whatever he wants. Though some representatives from Madeline are. Wait, you're your wife's name. Wait. What was it that you were trying to say about Mantle? You painted it. What? Is everything okay? You're Team Ruby. Wait, what the fuck is happening? You know us? <laughs> oh, my girl, I do. I most certainly do. And I feel like such a dunce for not recognizing you sooner. Uh-oh. My daughter's told me so much about you. Oh. You're... Oh, look at that lighting. Yep, it's <laughs> really, really good. But I'm also just like, close the door, close the door, close the door. You don't know what kind of trouble. But that's me. Oh, honey. Dang it. I guess the city defenses aren't doing much. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> okay, that kind of trouble. Oh! oh! What do we got? What do we got? A very well animated grim. Look at these guys! Damn! Oh! Anime split screen! <laughs> Just Wonder Woman this shit. Get it, kids! Yes! <laughs> and Crow? <laughs> Let's be real. He's a child. of them. Why do I get the feeling they're going to get- What in is that melody? <laughs> Why do I get a feeling that they're going to get in trouble for Doing killing this. all these grims? Yeah. Aww. Oh, 
Oh, that's an option. Iron Man? I guess. No, I, I think I know what this is. I think this is the spoiler. Yep. God, I wish I hadn't known this beforehand. Same. She's beautiful, though. Queen. Doc, why don't you say hello to your friends? <laughs> She's alive! Sal, huh? You? Oh, shit, here we go! <laughs> Aww. Calvin and Hobbes tackle. It is such a pleasure to see you all again. Penny, I... I, I thought you... Died? I guess in a manner of speaking, she did. But we were able to recover her core from Amity Arena once it had made its way back to Atlas. It took me some time, but... I'm as good as new. Better even. And now I'm the official protector of the city. Aww, <laughs> baby. We're not going to let a little ripping the shred stop us, are we? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> this is strangely wholesome. Aww. <laughs> Sounds like Penny to me. We have so many things to catch up about. I cannot wait. It seems we will have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was waiting for that. Missed her. I can't tell if I completely understand what's going on or have like a million questions. I'm just so happy she's not evil penny. Yet. <laughs> but get out of this way first. I totally I thought she was gonna be no rebuilt idea. as like a Terminator else? monster. I'm sure that she's got a Terminator mode, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. But. <laughs> Three, two, one. Give it a minute. There it is. What is uh -oh. this? Penny, come back! <laughs> what the hell is this? Good work, team. Hey, what's going on? Hey, pal, I'm a licensed huntsman. Just help save everyone? That's important. Let's get them loaded into the next transport. Please! We were just trying to help! What is the meaning of this? <laughs> what are the Aesops even doing down here? Aesops? Ops? Doctor, Ace good to see you. Oh. I love well, that. We heard a report of an unauthorized ship making an unauthorized landing, followed by an unauthorized use of weapons by non-licensed huntsmen. If we could just... <laughs> Maria, no. Nope. ...once they get up to Atlas. Let's move out. Where were your sleeves? You live up north and you have no sleeves. That is much closer to what I was expecting. Real <laughs> cool. Hmm. 
Oh, did you see that? That was not good. Woo! God, the last thing we need is for Papa Shani to be a power behind the throne. Or a power on the throne. Woo! Feels like a team! Oh. oh. Bravo! Ooh. Eddie Rivas. <laughs> yeah, he's writing on this now, mm -hmm. isn't he? Yeah. There are a couple new writers on the team. All right, we're going to have to back up a little bit and see who all of these new humans are. Oh, man, she's back. Yeah. If only people I could wish have been I quiet been about it. spoiled for that. Yep, but we can't have nice things. I love her rocket shoes. Though. Yeah. Uh. Seriously, it's got this Midgar vibe. Real yeah, Final the, Fantasy VII with the floating and the, like, that city's coming down. Even the green lights, to an extent. But just the, the slums down below where mm -hmm. things are bad, and then the eh, city up there, like, mm. <laughs> 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 One section of the city is going to get dropped onto another section of the city. <laughs> yeah, it's coming down. Like, mm, That's a thing that I will be very surprised if that thing does not occur. All right, we're going to back it up and we're going to look at the credits. Oh, hey, it's paused right where we need it. Do, 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 do. Drunk man. <laughs> Drinking buddy. Uh, the I believe the drunk man was, uh, like, his character design was somebody who was one of the animators who worked on it. Oh. Possibly a lead animator. But yeah, Dr. Pietro Palandina. Pietro. What a great name. Dave Fenoy. Uh, Clover Ebby. Chris Wackham. I don't know that name. Is, do you think he was one of the ace people? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was the head of the... By the way, Ace Ops. Ace Ops. <laughs> Smart asses, I love you. Don't know And I, lo approach. I love that we got the line reading of Ace Ops. And then Ace Ops? And I'm just like, I love it. I love it so, know, so much. I don't normally approve of puns, but I'm okay with this. Okay, I, I kind need to, of love it. I need to look up who these people are. And was that the same voice for Penny? Do you know? I believe it was. Okay. Yeah, I believe, I, I don't believe that's changed. Uh, salutations! You guys can't see, but there's character design artwork and it's for good. Penny right here. And it is absolutely adorable. She is so, so cute. It's Aizawa! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, in terms of Clover? Yeah! You know, I did see it earlier on Twitter. That he said he was that that the voice of Aizawa was was in this show, and I was like, oh, I just didn't recognize it when I heard it. Nice. <laughs> I'm officially overheated. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is great. Wow. Yep. Okay. I was like, hey, I don't recognize that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. <laughs> You think Watts got his ass thrown out of the of the kingdom a while ago? No. No? Because he seems to be able to come and go. Hmm. But I mean, if they hadn't been in a licensed airship, they probably could have come and gone as well. I don't think anybody suspects Watts of anything. He was able to just Possible. stroll on into um, the other school. So, like, I, I don't think anybody suspects him of anything. He was able to sit down and have tea with Lionheart. Like, I don't know. I, something tells but me. But at that he's, point, how long had Lionheart been working with Salem? Probably wasn't for the, an extended period of time. So I don't think but, that was. But no, he's still wandering freely. It's not true. like he had to pull up like a portal of darkness to hop into someone's office. No, it looks like he's just traveling freely. Like I said, I don't think anybody suspects him of anything. And same with Hazel. Hazel was taking public transport. <laughs> Nobody suspects Hazel, anyone in the of anything. Me, but or Hazel to me Salem. seems like a nondescript sort of person. So like, does what? He, no, with, with skill like that, it's one of those like you get noticed at some point. 
I would not be surprised if Watts is or was a known figure oh, in this kingdom. For sure. He'd still be able to come and go as he pleases, though. The one that's going to raise suspicion is Tyrion. Tyrion. What with all of his maniacal laughter and a robot scorpion tail. <laughs> and also the racism against Faunus. <sighs> Needed to qualify that for a minute. People look at that sentence structure and go, Tyrion's racist? <laughs> no. Just, just a psychopath. It's just fine. insane. Um, <laughs> he's not racist. He's just a no, murderer. I think you're talking <laughs> nonsense. I think Watts can come and go as he pleases. I think we'll see how that shakes out. Mm -hmm. We'll see how many people recognize him and for what. But yeah, this, this is fun. This, this was an option. Was I beautiful. I'm. I'm so happy. I still think at some point we're gonna see Terminator Penny, uh, but it's just so nice to see her like in Depends one piece. Depends on whether or not Watts can hack her. The he answer is probably out. yes. <laughs> He's like, let me show you my elite hacking skills in this opening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Much the same way that Emerald hacked Pyrrha's brain. Oh. And everyone else's. It's like, oh, we got one redhead back. For now. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, ooh, no one is safe. Nope. Except for maybe our titular characters, but really. Also, yeah, Jason Leibrecht? Leibrecht? Uh, well done. Yes. Good job, my dude. Good job, new crow. Good job. I'm so excited for that this is season. a hard role and a hard voice type to step into and you did very well. And honestly, if you didn't know, you'd never be able to tell the difference. The, it is, he did a spot on job. Absolutely. It was great. Good job. The, uh, we appreciate you very much. I'm so happy that Maria's still hanging around and yes! avoided getting arrested with the rest of these rowdy teens and crow. Maria just straight up fucked this shit I, I out. I did love that. That like, uh, she's just like, well, I left some tea on the kettle. Just gonna go back, mind my own business. I need to get my eyes fixed. <laughs> she's like, I'm too old to do it. Too old this. To shit. <laughs> Yeah, but again, the licensed huntsman helped. I'm like, mm, they're like, okay, an unauthorized landing in an unauthorized sector, and then unauthorized weapon use is the point where it's like, oh, yeah. being a huntsman doesn't mean anything right now, does it? Not here. That's not good. That's not good. I knew they were gonna get in trouble for helping, though. <laughs> this is what happens when you land in a fascist state. Clearly, mm. I can't wait till we get like a one-on-one -on -one with Ironwood again. Oh. <sighs> well, the last time we got a one on one with someone that was the head of a <laughs> school, it was a problem. Well, yeah, he was a coward. Ironwood's. He's the, dead now. <laughs> Ironwood's the problem in the opposite direction. <clears throat> is he thinks he's. He thinks he's the only one capable of fixing everything. Um, Which is like, no. <laughs> please breathe. Leo is too cowardly to act. Uh, Ironwood is too arrogant to accept help. And we all know that he just gets along super well with Crow. Mm. <laughs> he and Winter both. Well, with Oscar there, maybe they have a... Maybe. Maybe they have a, a better chance since Ozpin, like, they can have a conversation, Oz him and Ozpin. has also been chilling in the background, and I'm wondering whether Crow is go or whether anyone is going to fill Ironwood in on the story thus far. Because at the moment, remember, this this is team doesn't really trust Oz all that much right now. <laughs> like, hmm, a little difficult here. Mm. So, yeah, there's that's not really a bargaining chip, and there's a question of whether Oz will oh. even come out to talk to Ironwood because everyone else on the team knows this shit, and he hasn't actually faced any of them yet. Admittedly, it's only been like a week. We're making a lot so. of assumptions about what Ironwood knows and doesn't know. I assume that he doesn't know anything that Jin told the rest of them. I assume he probably knows more. I, I don't know if he knows the whole story. I think he actually knows what's at stake, though. And that's why he acts the way he does. That's why he's like, okay, yeah, we're putting all of our resources into a robot military. <laughs> yeah. 
because there is a psychopath who wants nothing more than the destruction of our world and it's our job to keep that at bay. Like, I would absolutely, to like, I would absolutely buy that at one point Ozpin actually told him what was at stake and that that's what caused a, sort of a rift between them because he's like, okay, well, why aren't you taking the fight to her? Why aren't you taking more precautions? Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing this? See, and I'd go the exact opposite. I would say that Ironwood probably can figure out that, all right, there's something else going on. There's another level here. And it's Oz refusing to give him the full story. That would could, cause that rift. Could be either way. Because we've seen, like, shit goes down, he gets really paranoid, and locks things down. So He's he, Madagascar in a game of pandemic. He shut tell, down everything. He'd tell Leo, but wouldn't tell Ironwood? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think Oz told Leo everything. I think Salem told Leo some shit. I disagree. I don't think Oz told Leo everything. I disagree. <laughs> mm. I don't think Oz told anybody anything. <laughs> or maybe he just figured that Crow was not a good person to give information <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hard to say. Hard Crow to say. is the adult in this group? He is a teacher? <laughs> he got to question things sometimes, like I said, you know? Our kids and Crow. <laughs> our kids and Crow. Also a kid. Also, the baby was in a he was in a fight. He was, and he did good. He did good against the Grim. Good job. Good job. Yes. <laughs> now let's never let the baby fight again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like nope, protect Oscar. <laughs> He's a good, good boy, and we love him. Ah. <sighs> So, I feel like he might actually have some level of plot armor for a small chunk of time because dealing with another Oz reincarnation oh, no. so soon no. just on a conceptual plot level is like, oh, no, not you. this shit again. Yeah, no, that's, no, I'm good without <laughs> that personally. So I don't think Oscar's going to bite it anytime soon. No. No, still. But who knows? <laughs> but also, don't let the baby fight anymore, Grim. <laughs> Keep him safe. I've only had Oscar for one season, but if anything <laughs> happened to him, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. <laughs> Two seasons. Whatever. <laughs> oh, this was great. Boy. Yes. This was great. This was fun. Um, More next week. Yes. Yes. I can't wait. But in the meantime. I'm Megan. You guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram with the Manguin. That's T-H-E-M-E-N-G-U-I-N. I also have a horror channel called Silver Screams. So if you like watching us react to spoopy things, go check that out. And I'm Katie. You can follow me all over the social medias and on Twitch at Kiaxe. That is K-I-A-X-E-T. As you've know, you noticed, we have the non-spoopy channel. Yay. Um, if you would like to support this non-spoopy channel, we have a Patreon, which gets you these reactions early, which I'm going to try and be a little more timely with Ruby, but we'll see how that happens. Um, we, if you want to throw a couple bucks our way, we have a Kofi. We take commissions, not request commissions. And, of course, supporting our sponsor supports us, so head to fredsbs.com. That's not right. Contact us. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just kind of get in a rut, you know? Contact Fred. <sighs> Info's down there and at the end of the video. And order some cookies because they are good and wonderful things. And everyone needs a little something for their soul right now. We're getting into the dark winter months. So cookies, brownies, jam, pie for local people. Enjoy things. Uh, yes. Stuff and things, things and stuff. Keep an eye out for more news updates. Follow us on social medias for more other possible things happening. Also, if you want to hear us talk more in depth about this episode of Ruby, head on over to Rooster Team Radio. I was trying to be roundabout about that because <laughs> our schedule for that has also been fun and interesting. I didn't want to make any guarantees. <laughs> well, head on over to Rooster Team Radio and uh, you'll hear us talk with our Rooster Team Coros cohorts about uh, this episode of Ruby. And there's also a new episode of Welcome to Vale, so... Yeah! There's that. Talking about spooky stuff. Yeah. And also, if you want this video to survive the algorithm, and there's about 15 jokes here, and I can't decide on any of them, so, you know, just surviving the YouTube algorithm. Hit all the little buttons, except for the dislike button. That one's trapped by a grim. You don't want it. 
Um, but yes, hit all those buttons. Tell the algorithm you like us. Show it to other people. Tell other people you like us too. It's a good time. Yes, yes, yes. Like, subscribe, ding. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.